worked in design until I started this company. I was always in fashion, but more in PR and marketing and advertising. So I um, thought that I wanted to start a company and, and had an idea and, and gave it a shot. But it was, um, I had never been to design school, but I had worked for Narcissa Rodriguez and Vera Wang and Ralph Lauren. So I feel like I absorbed a lot by working all those years in the industry. Na oficina ele passa o dia, não passa apenas de um Durango Kid. Na alta roda. I think it's interesting. I think it's really um, myself and my team, and my team is somewhat diverse. Sort of just great things that we're personally missing and um, thinking about it that way. Um, what's interesting is that it is all ages. We have a much younger customer, but then we also have. Um, 30 to 45 and then we also have some older as well so um, I think people um, or women are really interpreting it uh, and wearing it in their own way which is, is what I like about um, our collection because um, they're creating their own individual style with it. So many women. I, I look at pictures of my mother from the 60s and 70s. That was so she. You know, it's funny. I was such a tomboy growing up that um, fashion to me was just about my parents and watching them get dressed in the evening and looking so glamorous. And um, I was always doing sports and being outside with my brothers. But I think the first time that um, I remember having a significant fashion moment was when I had my prom junior year and my mother got me in Saint Laurent dress. <laughs> and it was, it was funny because it was definitely a statement and I was at a somewhat conservative all-girls school and it was a little out there. And it was, so it was kind of embarrassing but fun. Baby, no one in game. Da de de, não há ninguém para enrolar, não há ninguém para superar, não há ninguém como baby não há